Yo, what up, what up, what up, and welcome back to Pinoy News. Man, listen, all right, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I've been listening to a lot of Aaron Clary as of recently, right? I think a lot of us have, you know what I'm saying? Because we've been looking for, like, a stable, older voice, right? And he's, like, about, like, five, six years older than I am. Where everybody's kind of looking for, like, man, listen, the fuck do we do at this point, right? But today, I was sitting here, and I was listening to this video right here and i heard him say something that i gotta correct right legitimately like yo because it's important that we put the blame where the blame belongs right because a lot of motherfuckers will stand here and give you boogeymen that just don't belong in this place right and i feel like we need to squarely put who the fuck is the problem directly in front of your faces so you can go that motherfucker's the issue you know what i'm saying so like yo let's listen to this video and you know what i'm saying we're, we'll, we'll fucking stand here and talk about it you know what i mean because like yo it's gonna be you know what i mean it's not far into the video as far as she's concerned Such an asshole. Hello, children. I got to do this more often. Like a lot of people go to the gym first thing in the morning and um, I can't help it. You're psychopathic. Uh, but uh, doing something to jog you up in the morning. So I'm just sitting there in bed drinking coffee. I'm so lazy in that regard. Uh, we have an, this is a uh, part two. <clears throat> a guy paid for two Cappy originals. And if you want me to do an original, of which the list is probably long and never ending, uh, you want to hear some? I think. Well, yes, you could. But I gotta, I gotta do the ones that people pay for first, obviously, because they pay. So I do those first, <clears throat> and then maybe I get around to doing an original. Uh, you could do that. So the second original, uh, I just had this thought, <clears throat> um, and it was Andrew Breitbart, uh, who I believe passed away. Uh, he had the axiom or the rule, and you've heard it on other people's shows before, that politics is downstream from culture, meaning that, especially in a democracy, that the politics is going to be, it, it's not like, oh, the politics, politics just exist unto themselves. They come from what the culture wants. And I was starting to sit and, you know, a lot. Well, let's, let's say this, right? Because this is important to understand. So, like, politics, I, I like the way... Um, Von Klaus was said it, right? He said, war is a continuation of politics by another means, right? And I like what Michael Rupert added to it. He said, politics is a continuation of economics by another means, right? I think we're kind of saying the same thing. We're just talking past each other at this point. But, you know, I mean, when it really comes down to it, the mentality is, is that your politics are going to be of what the people need at that moment, right? And the reason why politics are so crazy right now is because of the fact that you have so many individuals hurting from the deindustrialization of our country, right? And that's really what's going on at the second. You know, I mean, that's why our politics are this fucking crazy at the fucking second. Oh, man. <clears throat> they gave it up. They gave women the right to vote and they're responsible for this. We're owners and stewards and you can't blame a spoiled child. It's the parents who failed the thing. And now we got to take as I hold it. Hold, okay. Hang on. Because you're all not factoring in something. And that is the power of the pussy. <laughs> and if we really want to look at, it, I want to add an addendum. Because it's true, 100% true. Now, Bill Burr hit this one out of the park long ago. Women are surrounded by this tornado of misinformation and nobody corrects them because we all want to fuck them. Oh, by the way, this will be not be a monetized video. But you don't understand the power of the pussy. <clears throat> because, okay, fine, politics is downstream from culture. Culture is downstream from pussy. And 80% of the men will do whatever the fucking women tell them to do because of pussy. I want this. Okay. <laughs> Even though it'll destroy the entire world. All right. Pussy. We want to lit. And, and I mean, if we want to go for the jugular right away, <clears throat> it was abandoning children 
and abandoning the future. I don't mean it. Oh, what's someone think of the children? I don't mean it that way. I mean, you literally. And now, the Marxists were brilliant in this. They said, okay, the only reason anything exists is because of pussy. It's the fuel that drives men. Men are the economic engines that produce nearly all the economic production. You don't believe me? Go get my book, The Book of Numbers, and read the intro. And an uh, inconvenient truth, as this might be, men account uh, roughly, I didn't audit it. I just looked at some general numbers. Men account for 75% of the real production, all right, of GDP, the real production. I'm not talking social workers and all this other bullshit that doesn't. At the end of the day, it's not a good or a service that anybody wants. Men account for the lion's share of the real production in all economies. And we damn well near account for uh, well, well above 99% of every technological innovation. Event. Now, that may change in the future as more and more women enter the workforce. And I'm not saying women shouldn't. <clears throat> but it has been men do that. Because of pussy. You know, and then when you go to the gas station and there's levels of octane, levels of pussy. Okay, there's like your 85. Ah, uh, that's a five. Oh, 87. No ethanol. Ooh. That's a six and a half. She might even be able to cook. 91. That's 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 a that's a seven or eight. And she comes, she knows her father. 93 octane or one one, you get an erasing octane that doesn't exist. <clears throat> doesn't exist now. But that would have, in theory, been a nine or a ten who would dote on you and support you and raise the fucking children. Marxists knew that. They came in and said, we gotta get how do we how do we neuter, turn America into a gilding? All right. So here's here's where like I got to I got to start stepping in. Right. Because like legitimately like this is this is my problem. OK. This is the issue. All right. It's not about Marxism. It's not right. It's not about communism. This wasn't pushed by Marxists or communists. This was pushed by capitalists. And I know that's hard to like have people's brains get wrapped around this fact, but it's a truth. All right. You see this here. You see this. Okay, this is consumer purchases by women. This is actually from a girl power website. This is not from, you know what I mean, some like nonsense bullshit fucking MGTOW thing. This isn't from, you know what I mean, the fucking Red Pill Forum. This isn't from Rolo Tomasi. This is from a female fucking led uh, actual, you know what I mean, fucking website, right? This is a girl power. This is, I think his website was actually called girlpower.com or some bullshit like that. And they brag about this. 91% of all new homes are bought by women. 65% of all new cars. 66% of PCs. They hold 89% of bank accounts. Pay for 92% of fucking vacations. 80% of healthcare. 93% of over-the-counter pharmaceuticals. And I don't know what that fucking 93% one is. I'm not sure. Like, I'm not absolutely, I'm not positive. But like, because I can't really read it, to be honest with you, right? And this is important to understand, right? It's not Marxist. It's capitalist. It's a really simple thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, if women are going to stand here and spend more than dudes are on bullshit, you can fucking supercharge your consumer spending in your economy by having single women. It's that basic. It's that simple of a thing. It has absolutely nothing to do with Marxism. Colleges and universities are funded by Fortune 500 companies. It's just simple. It's a basic premise. Right? Ted Kaczynski wrote about this. Right? It's important. It's a very, very important thing to understand. Right? And like, oh, fucking Cappy's read that. And I don't know why Cappy isn't applying this to his knowledge. But, like, you know, apparently... You know, I mean, he reads it and then he goes, oh, you know, da da da. But like, yo, this is the most important part of fucking Ted Kaczynski's work is the systems need a trick. I have a video on it. You know I mean, and it's an important video. It's on my channel where I stand here and I break this down. It's really simple. The system. All right. And this is not something that, you know, I mean, is tried on purpose. This is something that happens naturally because it's good for a capitalist economy. It's really simple. The reason why they push things like, you know, equity and 
anti-racism and anti-homophobia and, you know, anti, you know, anti-violence, less aggressiveness is because in the corporate structure, all these things, all right, that they're pushing the anti shit, right, is good, right? You know, I mean, they want more women in the workforce. They want more homosexuals in the workforce. They want more homosexuals for spending because they don't have kids. They want single women because they don't have kids. Right. Twenty six percent of all of U.S. adults, millennial women are married. Twenty six percent. That's it. Right. Ninety six percent list being independent as their single most important life goal. Eighty seven percent then define success as being able to shape their own future. Sixty eight percent became becoming a mom is a priority. Fifty percent say getting married is a priority. Is there a problem there? This is what's good for the economy. This is what's good for the system as a whole. And that's what I wanted to stop and say today. Because I think it's important. Right? At the end of the day, it's not Marxists. It's just not. It's not communists. It's not socialists. It's not some evil fucking cabal of fucking Jews. It's capitalism. Because this is what's good for capitalism. It's a basic premise. Once you like fucking stand here and accept that, you get past the bullshit and you understand that like there's a reason that we used to have these things called churches and communities. It's because like you can't, there's no way of government enforcing any type of social order as far as the family is concerned. Capitalist wants this. Business wants this. <laughs> it's, like, yo, it's a basic thing. Like, yo, do the math, right? Explain to me at what point in capitalism is it good for us or for capitalists or for the economy to have families be married and not spend money? Think about it. There's no point. You go, oh, but kid spending. Yo, know, kid spending ain't like adult spending. I mean, kids you know, might buy video games, toys, diapers. I don't drive the economy. What drives the economy? Consumer spending on vacations, cars, luxury items, software, right? Banking, investments. You don't invest when you have kids. You're fucking broke all the time. Because, you know, fuck kids look at you with the puppy dog guys. Like, all right, I'll buy you that extra thing. Because that's that money. It's not going into investments. It's a basic. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, look, man. It's on peace. I apologize that, like, you know, I have to go against the grain a little bit. But, like, I just, I can't lie to y'all. You know what I mean? It's not my job. My job is to tell y'all the truth. And bring y'all reality. Tom Pizza, Pinot News. You know what it is. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace.